Our ARCHICAD tip of the week today is managing floor plan display for elements. So let's talk about that. You'll remember I mentioned this earlier in the presentation, um, and that was, you know, there's options for both uh, windows and doors as well as for our walls. Uh, for windows and doors, we might see things like projected, projected with overhead, symbolic, and overhead all. For our walls, we might see something like a home store story only or on all stories or specific stories or projected with overhead or show projection like to floor plan range, to absolute display limit, to entire element. All of this can get very confusing to try to figure this out. So I'm going to try to help you understand that a little bit today. Um, you can kind of see a little bit here just under symbolic and overhead all where symbolic shows the cut of the window, shows the window in there, and overhead all shows <coughs> Excuse me. Put a water water there. The overhead all shows the entire wall going through with the over with the um, uh, glazing uh, as dashed lines. And then we also have the ability to uh, use and set these settings to interact with the floor plan cup plane settings, which you can open up from the document menu, floor plan cup plane. And there you can set the cut plane settings for different options here for the height of story relative to the floor plan range and the absolute display limit. So let's start first with our, uh, our um, uh, door and window display settings here, uh, which is the floor plan display options. As I mentioned there's these four options for projective, projective overhead, symbolic, and overhead all. As I mentioned, uh, when you're using something like symbolic, it's just going to have the object standard symbol is going to show. And, and, and overhead all, as I mentioned, is going to show the entire wall going through. Um, we also going to have things like slanted walls, which shows uh, part of the cut of the elements 3D model uh, and with also a downward part cut and also can show an overhead cut as well, depending upon what you selected. And also don't. And also, and I'm going to show you a graphic in just a second that will have helped you better understand all this, but I'll make sure you understand these settings. So first, uh, the second part of this is, is the wall. So the wall setting will also affect this. So, you know, if you set the wall to project it or project the overhead or cut only, uh, if you set it to symbolic cut, outlines only and overhead all, those also interact with the settings you set for your door and window. And then, of course, finally, we've got the settings we've set with our floor plan cup plane setting. So in this case, in the one above, we've got uh, project hit with overhead, um, and that's showing just a simple cut through the, the wall with the window there. If we had a window that was above our typical four plan, or excuse me, four foot kind of cut through the wall, uh, then we would want to set this for so that it cuts through the wall and doesn't show that window. So as you can kind of see here, if we set the current story and save this to a view uh, for nine foot eleven inches, so that means it's not it's going to off offset that that uh, cut higher, so it doesn't show that window. So it's able to um, uh, uh, not show the window when when you don't want it to be. So here's Here's probably one of the best ways of kind of explaining all these different options and how they work. Uh, this was done by uh, Laszlo, uh, the community, he's one of the community administrators um, of Graphsoft, and uh, he created this grid to help people understand these different combinations a little bit easier. So with a floor, with a window, for example, if we do a window cut by floor plan cut plane, um, you can see here where if we have projected, um, that's what it's going to look like. Um, projective overhead, symbolic, and symbolic all. Projective overhead there looks uh, also similar. And then we've got cut only, um, symbolic cut, where we can see that it's, it's changed the way that looks. Um, but then that also depends on how you've, you've defined the above floor plan cut plane, right? Uh, and then also um, outlines only, um, and, and then overhead all. So just to kind of give you a, a little bit better understanding, I love this graphic. Um, this is one of the things that I think is helpful for a lot of people to be able to see and understand 
uh, you can, if you would like this graphic to print out and have, uh, just simply go to the community center um, uh, on GraphSol's website, um, select uh, or, or search for uh, Laszlo uh, and um, the window wall window marker floor plan display uh, visibility grid, and you can download and have this to refer to. When you're managing the floor plan display limit for things like um, your walls, uh, you can also set, as I mentioned, things like project it, project it overhead, cut only. These also influence how that window is going to show. Uh, as we can kind of see here, um, when you choose on stories, all relevant stories, um, if we're looking at those, uh, it's also um, setting whether you want that wall to show on all stories. So, for example, if you have a wall that goes up um, 30 feet, and uh, you want it to show on all stories, right? Uh, or, and so you would want to select all relevant stories so that when it goes to the second floor and the third floor, it continues to show. And if you move that wall on the first floor or any of those floors, it's going gonna, it's gonna to actually uh, move it on all the other floors as well. And here's another good example for walls. So here's where we have uh, the sl sloped or slanted wall. Uh, you can see how it shows in projected, how it shows with projected with overhead, cut only, outlines only, and overhead all. And then also how our wall is going to show, show when it's cut for projected, projected with overhead, cut only, symbolic cut, outlines only, and overhead all. And also just the way that this is defined, as I mentioned earlier, the default in ARCHICAD uh, is a four foot uh cut so that everything shows above that four foot cut everything um or sure, everything below that four foot cut shows and and doesn't show anything above that so that's kind of the way that that's set but you can move that uh using um the uh, display setting so this is how uh, each of these options sort of uh respond and are designed to look within uh, archicad for uh when you work with walls And then in terms of showing the projection, uh, you know, this pop-up contains uh, three options. So this is uh, the floor plan range, which shows the wall projection in terms of its range of stories. Uh, it also shows <clears throat> you can set a desired range as well. The absolute display limit sets a fixed lower limit. Uh, and then also you can go to the cut plane settings to set the absolute display limit. And then the entire element will show uh, uh, the wall will be displayed on all relevant stories as the entire element. And that is our tip of the week today. So let's go ahead and get into ARCHICAD.